Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Jadi sesi kali ini kita akan lihat Presentation para pelajar yang akan berkongsi ilmu Bersama kawan-kawan Bagi persediaan menghadapi final exam yang bakal tiba Dalam sesi dari kita untuk kita Jom kita tengok Assalamualaikum and hi. Let's review chapter 5, Work, Energy and Power. 5.1 Work What is work? Work done by a constant force is defined as the product of the component of the force parallel to the displacement times the displacement of a body or the scalar dot product between force and displacement of a body. Let's look at the equation of work. W is equal to F times S or W is equal to Fs cos theta where F is force, S is displacement and theta is angle between F and S. Work is scalar quantity and the SI unit of work is joule. One joule is defined as the work done by a force of one newton, which results in the displacement of one meter in the direction of the force. One joule is equal to newton meter and equal to kilogram meter squared per second squared. Let's look at the application of work's equation. Case 1, work done by a horizontal force on an object. When we look in this figure 5.1, F and S is parallel. So, there is no angle between F and S. When we substitute 0 into theta, we will get cos theta equal to 1. So, W is equal to Fs. Case 2. Work done by a vertical force on an object. In figure 5.2, we can see that F is perpendicular with S. So, the angle between F and S is 90 degree, right? When we substitute 90 degree into cos theta, we will get cos 90 degree is equal to 0. When we substitute 0 into work equation, we will get work done is Zero. Case 3. Work done by a horizontal forces F1 and F2 on an object. Actually, this case is same with case 1. But in this case, there is another addition of force. We still use the same equation which is W is equal to Fs. But remember, to sum up total force that acting on this object, then multiply with displacement. We will get W net is equal to F net S. Case 4. Work done by a force and friction force on an object. In this figure 5.4, we can see there is uh, two forces acting on on this object which is F and friction. So when we need to calculate work done by this object, we need to find X component of F. That's why we will get F cos theta then we need to minus with friction force. Then W net is equal to F net times S. Work done on an object is 0 when F is equal to 0. For example, boat traveling with constant velocity. Second, work done on an object is 0 when S equal to 0. For example, a man push a wall. And the last one, work done on an object is 0 when theta is equal to 90 degree. Such example, 
centripetal force acting on the bus moving with constant speed in a circle. Sign forward. Positive sign means work done on the system where energy is transferred to the system. The angle should be acute angle and cos theta must be positive value. And negative sign means work done by the system where energy is transferred from the system. The angle should be obtuse angle and cos theta must be negative values. I hope it is useful for us to review this topic. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. We will learn about work, energy and power. In 5.1b, we will apply work done by a constant force and form a force displacement graph. Let's recall the definition of the work done by a constant force. Work done by a constant force is defined as the product of the component of force parallel to the displacement times the displacement of a body, or defined as the scalar dot product between force and displacement of a body. There are two equations for work. The first one is the value equal to Fs and the second one is the value equal to Fs cos theta which is F is magnitude of force, S is displacement of the body and theta is angle between F and S. Next is force displacement graph where the force acting on the system is constant so the force displacement graph is just a horizontal line because the force does not change. To calculate work, we can use the area under the graph. Area under the graph is equal to F times S. Another one is force displacement graph where the force acting on the system is a variable force. As we can see that the graph is different with the previous one. We can calculate work using area under the graph. Area under the graph is integration of FDS. This is the example of work done by a constant force. Here, you can see a boy pushing a box on the table. Let the box through the distance S. The direction of the applied force is F. F and S is parallel to each other. So, work done equal to force and displacement. A man carry a weight on his head and walking horizontally. There is no work done against the gravity. This is because work done is maximum, which is theta equal to 90. Let's try some example. A motor supply a constant force of 1 kN which is used to move a lot a distance of 5 meter. The force is then changed to a constant 500 newton and the lot is moved a further 50 meter. Draw the force distance graph for the operation and from the graph determine the work done by the motor. So, as we can see here, we need to draw the force distance graph 
and determine the work done by the motor. So, we can list down all the information given. Change 1 kilo newton to 1000 newton. So, here is the graph. We need to calculate work. As we know that, work is equal to area under the graph. So, there is two different shapes in the graph. We can divide into two, which is calculate the area of a, B, F, E, then area C, D, G, F. So, area is equal to F times S. So, we get the answer 12,500 Joule or 12.5 kilojoule. Okay, example 2. The graph below show the force applied to an object as it moves a distance of 10 meter. Answer the following. A. When was a constant force applied to the object? B. The force was applied at a displacement of 6 meter. C. How much work was done on the object? So A. A constant force applied to the object. As we can see in the graph, the one which with straight line is the constant one. So the constant of 10 meter is at 5 5 meters so the next one is what force was applied at a displacement of 6 meter so here is 6 meter this one so this is 5 newton The last one is, we need to calculate work. So, as we know that work is equal to area under the graph. Here, at the graph, there is two different shapes. So, we calculate the first one and then we calculate the second one. So, we get the 60. Therefore, would equal to 60 Joule. That's all for me. Thank you.